Hey folks, how we doing? It's uh, Mr. Carter here. Um, ready to do Unit 2 review for your Unit 2 test for math. Um, so let's get started. So um, number one is asking you to find the area of this rectangle. So we have a rectangle with a length of 5 and a width of 9. So our length, we're just going to fill that in, is 5 inches. Our width is 9 well, to know, um, we know that the area of a square or a rectangle is length, so area equals length times width. So in this case, we've got to go uh, 5 times 9, and that equals 45. So that's our answer here, 45 square inches. Explain how you found the area. Well, I multiplied. I multiplied 5 times 9, um, which is the length times the width. Length times the width. Okay. So that's basically the explanation there. So you just want to say that you multiplied the length times the width, which is 5 times 9. All right, so number two, find the number of seconds. Well, we know in order to solve these, we've got to know how many seconds there are in one minute. So one minute is 60 seconds, okay? So that means every to go from minutes to seconds, you have to multiply by 60. You can kind of treat it like an in-out box. So like this is our rule, times 60. So one times 60 is 60. So for three minutes, we've got to go three times 60. So three times six is 18 and you, because uh, we're doing our basic facts, 6 times 3 is 18, and you add that 0 there to make it 180. Down here, 8 times 6 is 48, and then you add that 0 again for 480 seconds. And lastly, 10 times 60, well that would be um, 1 times 6 is uh, 6, and then you have two zeros here to make it 600. So explain how you, you found many second, how many seconds were in 8 minutes. Well, I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So I multiplied um, 60 by 8 to get 480 seconds. Okay, let's look at number um, three on the next page. So it's asking you to draw all the arrays for 24. But to do this, I'm going to go down here and skip A for, for now. And I'm going to go and list all the factors for 24. So to get factors, again, you want to start with one and work your way. You're going to start counting and work all your way. So you, uh, all your way down to 24. So I'm going to say, okay, one. That's our first number, right? So is there, and one times 24 uh, is going to be factors. One is a factor for everything. So it's one times itself, right? So one times 24. So now I'm just gonna go down the line to all my counting numbers. So two, is two a factor of uh, 24? Yes it is, because you can go two times 12. How about three? Well yeah, you can do three times eight. So you're gonna go three and eight. And then let's think about four. I'm just going down the line. One, two, three, four. Does four uh, times anything equal 24? Yeah, sure does. It's four and six. How about five? Is five and anything uh, equal 24? No, five times, um, five times nothing equals 24. So here we go. Now we're going to six. That tells me we hit our turnaround fact. Okay, so we're done. All right, so now I'm going to take these factors and build arrays. So we can do a 1 by 24 array. So it can go 1 times 24. And a 1 by 24 array would look like this, 24 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, that took me a while, so I'm not going to do them all, right? So you get the gist. So this is a 1 by 24 array. And you could also do a 24 by 1 array. You could do a 2, if we go back down to our factors, a 2 by 12 array. And then a 12 
by 2. Here, let me do just one more. So 2 by 12 would look like this, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would be a 2 by 12 array. So you can also do a 3 by 8. You can do an 8 by 3. And then lastly, you would do a 4 by 6 and a 6 by 4 array. And that will draw, that will be all your arrays that you can draw. Okay, let's look at um, multiples of 10. So when I see multiples, I can replace it by saying counting by. Okay, so counting by. So multiples of 7, we are counting by 7s. So if we are counting by 7s, the first one, so 7 times 1 is 7. And then if we're counting by 7s, the next one would be 14, which is 7 times 2. And then down the line, 21, 28, 35. So again, we're counting by 7s. This one, so this is 2 by 7, 3 times 7, 4 times 7, 5 times 7. Uh, 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 7 is 56, 9 times 7 is 63, and lastly 10 by 7 is 70. So there you go. You have it. These are your first 10 multiples of 7. Remember, counting by 7s. All right, let's look at um, the What's My Rule box here. Okay, so we have the three components of the What's My Rule question. You have your rule. And then you have your in box and your out box. So here, the number going in is 3. So we go 3 times 8. That gives you 24. Now you have to ask yourself here, because we, we don't have the in, we have only the out. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, what times 8 gets you 32? Well, that would be 4 times 8 gets you 32. 8 times 8, 64. 12 times 8 is 96. So there you go. There you have it. That's my what, what's my rule. Draw at least two lines of symmetry in the shape below. So um, you would draw a line of symmetry. I don't have a straight edge at the moment, but what you would do is you take a ruler and go right down the middle here because that would be one line of symmetry for your rectangle and then right down the middle going this way. Um, as another line of symmetry for that rectangle. Circle any right angles or write none. Well, I'm looking at this triangle and there are none. There are no right angles there. So it's none. Name two properties of the quadrilateral below. So here's a quadrilateral and I'm noticing, um, well, one, it has four sides, right? So that could be a, a property. It has four sides. That's an example. I'm noticing here on the corners, there's little squares. That tells me those are right angles, right? So um, this is a, uh, it has two 90 degree angles. Um, and it appears to me that these two lines are parallel. So it has one set of parallel sides. These are all properties, okay, uh, of the quadrilateral below. We may come up with some more. All right, here I'm not going to do these all for you. Um, these are just basic multiplication and division um, problems. What I am going to do is I'm going to just flash here the answers for you. So if you want to take a look at this, just pause the video at this moment. Let me just put it. There we go. So there you go. If you want to pause the video and check your work on these problems, you can do that. So there are your answers. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay. Welcome back. So let's look at the back of this packet. We have one more problem to do. It's asking you, should you add or multiply to find the answer to the question below? Explain. All right, so Savannah read for 20 minutes. Andy read five times as long. How long did Andy read? 
Well, this word here, times, is a clue that you need to multiply, right? When we say times like 7 times 2, that means multiply times 7 times 2, right? So uh, Savannah um, read for 20 minutes. Andy read 5 times as long. So you should multiply is your answer because it's asking you, should you multiply or add? So you should multiply. And why? Because it's saying, uh, so let's say because it says, let me put in quotes here, Andy read five times as long. So that would be why um, we would multiply. Well, how long did Andy read? Well, if Savannah read 420 and Andy read, so I'm going to put A here for Andy. Andy read, so Andy equals five times as long as Savannah. And Savannah read for 20, so it's five times 20, right? So that means five times 20 is 100. So Andy read for 100 minutes, okay? And convert your answer to hours and minutes. So um, that's our challenge here. So if I know that 60 minutes equals one hour, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start take the 100 that I started out with, and I'm going to subtract 60, all right? Because that's going to be an hour, right? So we're going to start with 100 minutes, take away uh, 60 minutes, and I'm just going to say that equals an hour here, right? So that leaves us with 40 minutes. Well, we don't have enough to make another hour. So Andy read for one hour and 40 minutes. One hour and 40 minutes. All right, friends, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have questions, please come and see me. Good luck on your test, and take care.